into the Christmas swing now as the transfer window looms large for the Premier League clubs, including Tottenham Hotspur and Jose Mourinho. Who's he going to bring in? Who's he going to let go? We're going to take a little look next. That's right, folks, back once again with another buy, keep, or sell video. This time we've gone to Tottenham Hotspur. We'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your banger to date with all things Tottenham Hotspur related. No, of course it's not Tottenham Hotspur. Premier League related, Blap and Rose, World Football related. We're going to all hear Anwaruski. That's right. We're going to take a look at Tottenham today. Um, let's jump into the vortex and have a little look what I'm talking about. We are here. Um, we're going to go through the team one by one, uh, avoiding the, the majority of the youth. A couple of that might have slipped in there, but uh, yeah, let's kick it all off um, and go and take a look at uh, Victor Wanamama, uh, formerly of Southampton, formerly of Celtic, formerly of Spurs. That's right, straight out the door, he's on his way out. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, well, I, there is a reason why he's he's, he's uh, fallen out of favour. There's uh, a couple of players now have come in recently. Uh, La Celso, who else? That other fella, that uh, Ndombele, uh, Ndombele, sorry, he's come in as well. So uh, he's fallen down the pecking order quite rapidly. 28 years. Of age. He's got to be playing first team football, really, for a guy of his quality. There is there is uh, room for him to, I'm sure, arguments that he could be uh, playing uh, elsewhere for, uh, for, uh, for for other teams in the Premier League. Um, it could be it could also be a loan, but uh, I, I've got a, sm uh, a, a stinky dinky feeling that uh, one of Mama uh, could be on his way out this January. Uh, if not, it could be in the summer as well. So if he hangs on, then um, we could expect to see him leave. Uh, Mourinho's got his own ideas, and I don't. Uh, Unless something happens over the next uh, three weeks or so when he, he makes a rapid rise to the first team. I doubt it. Now, next up, we have Troy Paris. Only 17 of age, but he's made the breakthrough and he's, he's knocking on the door now. He's actually got one game. He's uh, got five minutes to his name, but he's uh, he's, he's available for cup selection and all that. Um, he may be available for loan, but 17 years of age is, is quite young. But uh, he's going to stay right here with the boys. He ain't going anywhere, really. Um, this one's an interesting one. Uh, Toby Alderald, um sort. His contract last season was was up for grabs. Uh, there was a £25 million buyout. Um... He is obviously one of the one of the regulars in the back line, and uh, is that going to change? New manager, new ethos, new that, that kind of stuff. I don't think so. I think for players of his quality, he's a very good commanding centre back. Uh, obviously, at uh, Premier League experience with Southampton as well prior to Spurs days, but um, and he has been linked elsewhere. But realistically, I don't see him going anywhere very soon. Any now. Uh, next up, Tanguy Ndombele, a guy who recently arrived for Spurs. Looks looks a solid player for Spurs as well. Okay, now the guys, I'm not a Spurs expert. I want to throw that in there. Absolutely not. So if you think uh, Troy Parrott is, is is garbage, let me know in the comment section down below. Same with, with the players that I've decided to keep and, and sell, whatever. Give me your thoughts. Just show me in the comment section your, your opinions of those. Uh, but Ndombele, I think, recently arrived, so we ain't going anywhere. This guy, though, Sergi Aurier, was to that effect... He's uh, on the shit list, on the on the hit list. He could be on his way out. I'm going to put him up here. In fact, I'm going to put him down uh, in the cell for the time being. Uh, I'm not convinced about him just yet. He like, like he's not in there completely. Let's just say he's half in, half out. I might pull him out. I've got a couple of options at right back as well. And same goes for the uh, can be said for this fella. Uh, recently just arrived. I'm not talking about selling him. He's 19 years of age. Ryan Sessegnon um, needs regular game time now. Will he get that under Mourinho? I don't know. That's that's the question mark for me. I don't know. So I'm I'm going to put him. I am putting him in here. Cold and 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 rapid. Uh, no mucking about. I'm putting him on here for loan. He did arrive in the summer. He's not going to go anywhere. He will be a regular for Spurs no questions are asked it's just possibly next season uh, and the season after when he's in when he's in his 20s um, he will be knocking on the door so I, I'd like to see him I think he's a very exciting player he did score in the Champions League quite recently um, he's a very good player and I just don't if he's not getting the game time his talent is wasted and I think he could do with with another season of, of uh, you know defining his character a little bit and next there we have uh, Gazinga uh, Port Paulo Gazinga deputising in the goal for Hugo Lloris who's out injured so she's doing an okay job as well um, he ain't going anywhere either next up we have Musa Sissoko 29 years of age uh, midfielder Decent, uh, runs his socks off for the team, goes nowhere. Lucas Mora, obviously last season, uh, goals galore, valuable player, scoring at the valuable times as well in the Champions League. 
Um, they haven't got too many of these kind of players, so they are like rocking horse shit. Uh, Walker Peters, Carl Walker Peters, uh, one for the future. 22. Wow, he's getting on a little bit, isn't he? Um, it's a make or break season for him, really. If, if he doesn't cut the mustard between the next 18 months, I'm sure he's going to be done. Um, next up, we have Juan Fourth, Foyth. Centre back, youngster, 21 years of age, Argentinian international again. He's on the fringes of both the first team and the, uh, the under 23s, but I'm going to keep him just where he is. Uh, next up, we have uh, another experienced centre back, and that is Jan Vertonghen, 32 years of age. Is this his last season? Because if so, then maybe they want to cash in on him. Have I got him up for grabs? Have I got? Am I selling him, producer? Am I selling him? No, we're not selling Vertonghen. He's staying put. Um, he could be up for grabs, and I'm sure if a, a decent offer comes in. In fact. The players that have lined up, you know, you know, he's, he's staying. You, you need experience. You do. You don't want to sell yourself short. I'm I trying to bring in a centre back for Spurs here, but uh, Vertonghen, out of our wild fourth uh, amongst others, will will provide good coverage um, alongside any new additions that I'm trying to bring in to the club. Next up, we have Hugh Lloris, obviously out suspended, probably one of the better keepers in the division. Uh, Captains France as well. He is going new there. Then Sung Young Min. I could see him. I could. I could see Son Heung-min playing at a, an even higher level. No disrespect to Tottenham, um, but for Real Madrid and all that kind of good stuff, he is uh, a dream. A dream to work with. He just. He just runs his socks off, scores goals, creates creates assists as well. Um, tremendous player, and keep a hold of that guy for sure. Tie that son of a bitch down for another contract. Next up, we have Harry Winks, um, twenty three years of age, uh, eleven starts, fifteen games in total. Um, Run, runs his little soccer Rooney's off as well. So Winks uh, gives it all for the shirt as well. Uh, next up, Harry Kane. Again, one, the ones that are nailed on. We, we just we just put them straight up there. We don't muck about. Uh, next up, we have another new guy to the to, to side, Giovanni Lo Celso. Again, arrived in the summer. Pochettino signing, or was it uh, was it one of the members of the board? Uh, did he did they instigate that signing? But anyway, he ain't going anywhere. For the time he's not really played that many games as of yet just the one start according to my stats eight from the bench uh eric lamella it's been with the club for a couple of seasons now are we getting that are they getting the best out of lamella um seven starts two goals uh a couple from the substitutes bench as well um he's he's remaining as well eric dyer he could be up for grabs i think Mourinho was looking at him uh for man united so he'll probably remain with Tottenham this time. De uh, Deli Ali has gone from strength to strength under under Mourinho. It was actually been a little, it was actually going at the wayside a little bit under Pochettino. So we're saying kind of seeing a second second wind for Deli Ali at the moment. Five goals uh, this season from nine starts. Not a bad return as well. So he's a handy little player. Uh, another defender to compete um, for a starting spot is Davison Sanchez. Um, I've got so I've got Fertongan, I've got uh, Aldo Varad, and I've probably got Damson Sanchez um, with one fourth competing for centre back duties. Um, so one of those probably is expendable. Uh, you could maybe uh, s suggest that this guy could go out on loan then on that regard. So I, I, I'd keep Damson Sanchez for the time being. Another one, is Danny Rose. Yeah, he. Uh, I thought he was going to leave in the summer. Not too sure where he would have gone, though. Uh, Man United, Everton, something like that. But uh, he's sticking around. Uh, he does offer something from the from, from out wide. Uh, so they've got him listed as a left back here. Um, can also play on the right-hand side as well, I think. So he's a... Uh, nope, nope. Big one next. Uh, so Danny Rose will probably stay in January, but maybe, you know, you might see him leave um, in the summer. So it's, 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 it's very... Up for grabs. There we go. Uh, Christian Eriksen. I'd say cash in on the son of a bitch right now. Cash in on Christian Eriksen. Get 20, 30 million, whatever it is. He's definitely a 75, 80 million pound player. Um, but uh, how old is he now, Christian Eriksen? He's 27 years of age. Um, he's obviously not as, it's not been not as effective this season because, you know, there's been a, a bit of taboo behind him because obviously he's, he's on his way out. So I'd cash in on the son of a bitch and, bring, and maybe reinvest. Um, and I've got a couple of midfielders lined up. Not some, not like for like. Some completely wild uh, cars. Next up, we have Ben Davies, uh, twenty-six-year-old uh, Welshman. Um, not not an ever-present, but uh, definitely an option. 
uh, in defense. Plays at left back as well. So I, I don't see him going anywhere. Here we go. So we've got Sander Berg. He is a box standard. Oh, not box standard, but a uh, defensive midfielder in the ilk of Eric Dyer. Um, so it adds a bit of option. Again, you, you've got quite a, a tasty midfield at the moment. But with one of out on his way out, this guy would add, uh, add a bit of spice. He's actually linked with a couple of Premier League clubs at the moment. But I'd, I'd fancy his chances uh, going with Tottenham Hotspur. So I'm going to bring him in. Now, this would be an absolute bar... Uh, not a bargain, but uh, a belter of a signing. Uh, Koulibaly. What's his first name? Um, the Beast. He's a monster. He's an absolute... Uh, Kaladu Koulibaly. And he plays his football out in Napoli. And this is this is a likely deal. This is a very much likely deal because the wheels have come off over in, in Italy for Napoli. Obviously, Champions League football, they're still in there, though. So that's that's the only caveat going to hold on to it. But they're having an absolute shit season. They've, they're mid-table now. They're, their wheels have come off. They sacked Ancelotti, brought in Gattuso, who's a bit of a hothead. So he might not uh, agree with Koulibaly or whatever. He might, they might just have the wrong sort of vibe with each other. And it might just not sit. And it, and it could be a prime opportunity for Colabali to leave. Um, and to exchange one Champions League adventure for another is not too far off the mark. Mourinho likes a bit of a, bar, a, 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 a big ass signing. And this would be not only a big sign, this would be a, a huge signing. He's a, a, a master at the back. Uh, probably, I, I rate this guy very highly. Uh, and I'm quite surprised that none, none of the big boys, the, the Barcelonas and Napoli, have, have, or, or even Juventus. I, I know, I know um, they're in the same division and all that, but Juventus are an elite club. Um, but this guy is an immense signing. So I'm, I'm throwing it out there. I think I'm trying not to link in with too many Premier League clubs. Manchester United could have gone for him, but... Um, no, they have spent Maguire. Uh, Donny van der Beek. Here we go. This is a Christian Eriksen's replacement right here. Uh, Ajax obviously crashed out of of, uh, of um, Champions League football. Uh, they did they go into the Europa League? I don't even know if they made it to the Europa League. They might have done. Um, but yeah, so he's he stuck around this season. Obviously, a lot of the uh, other hot prospects left in the summer. So is it his time to move now? This would be a good replacement. I think this would give uh, give Spurs fans a bit of a, a bit of a, a boost in morale. Obviously, Christian Eriksen is a phenomenal set piece taker, good midfielder. But this guy's got years on him. He's got he's very young. Um, he's got another two or three, four years. Um, to provide Spurs with what they're missing. Um, and I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it happening. I'm not sure the price on it. Uh, maybe you can get it for a similar price from Christian Eriksen. That's the only drawbacks with with the Koulibaly signing um, is where the money's going to come from. Christian Eriksen won't provide you that much money. Aurier won't provide you that much money. One, one Armour won't provide you that much money. So... But I'm going for the Donny van der Beek. Or uh, Mario Fellaini could make another return for for, uh, for matey boy uh, Mourinho. I, I don't think it's it's, it's going to win f uh, Spurs fans over, um, but it will win Mourinho over. So that's a likely. And then if Aurier does go, then we could bring in this guy in, Atal from Nice. One of the most sought after young... Is it Yusuf Atal? Uh, one of the most sought after right backs in Europe. 23 years of age. Very rapid down that right-hand side to provide something a little bit spicy for uh, Tottenham Hotspur this season. So I've got four in, or four out, five in, but I prob you probably would only bring in uh, maybe th one, two, three of those. Uh, you probably have to take your pick between these three here. Um, let's scoot these guys down a bit. You probably bring those two in, and then you probably bring in one of these three. And if my money's going anywhere, if you bring Kulabali, then you're probably lucky to bring in Falele because... I don't think you could afford uh, Bush. Santa Bush also plays out in Bruges. It's, it might be an affordable market, but uh, you, you lose one Yamama. You bring in um, Fellaini, for example. Uh, you lose Ericsson. Uh, you might want to bring in Van der Beek, I guess, to, to like for like. And then Aurier replaced by this fella. And then this guy's just a, a, a massive pickup. But anyway, that's just my thoughts about Tottenham Hotspur moving on to, into the January transfer window. Give me your thoughts and opinions about what you expect from Mourinho now in charge over at the Fancy Pants New Stadium. Uh, I'm going to hop back into the into the studio. Uh, yeah, we go, folks. Yeah, give me your thoughts and opinions about Tottenham's transfer activity. Who you expect to leave? Who you expect to arrive? Um, yeah, I'm going to try and do some more Premier League clubs over the next few days. Hopefully you can stand by and enjoy those puppies while they're there. But until then, uh, make sure you give this video some love and smash that thumbs up. Smash the subscribe if you're new. Uh, new videos every single day right here. Black Moon Overseas. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Black Moon Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.